To replicate Thomson cathode ray tube experiment, I'm using this plastic bottle to explain how he constructed and the results that he observed. Thomson removed the air from the bottle to make sure that the arc that we produced will not interact with the air molecule and change the result. Thompson made some modifications in this bottle. Um, he inserted two metal discs with a slit in the center of each one. And he coated the end of this bottle with a phosphorescent material which glows in the dark. Then he connected the negative terminal of a battery or cathode to the end of this bottle and uh, he connected the positive terminal of the battery or anode to those metal discs. He observed a beam uh, that was glowing through the bottle and hit the end of this fluorescent coating and uh, went just straight and he marked at point A. Thompson wants to observe if the beam that went straight at first place will be deflected and if he connected to metal parallel plates in this bottle. So now he connected both parallel plates and we need to connect those terminals with a battery. So this is a second battery and I'm going to connect the positive terminal with the top plate and the negative terminal with the bottom plate. With the parallel plates connected with the top one as a positive terminal and the bottom one as negative terminal. So he observed the beam was deflected toward the positive terminal. So he marked as point B. When Thompson reverted the polarity of the parallel plates now the top one is negative and the bottom one is negative. He observed that beam was deflecting toward the positive side of the battery. Thompson observed three paths for this beam. One went, went straight, evolved the parallel plates, which is marked as A. The second one, when the positive parallel plate was at the top of the bottom. So the beam deflected toward the positive terminal. And when he reverted the terminal of the parallel plate, and now the bottom one was a positive. So the beam was deflected toward the positive, marked as C. Thompson cathode ray tube experiment conclusions using the parallel plates. So he concluded the ray produced in this experiment was negatively charged. And also he concluded the ray contains small particles and he named corpuses.